Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and you know what? The biggest mistake that most artists make is thinking that the elements and the principles of design are the most important things to learn to become a really good artist. They think that this is going to get them into galleries, shows, museums, and they will be able to create wonderful paintings for people to purchase. I get it. Everybody tells you this. They tell you you must know design and color and value and proportion and balance and so forth before you can become a really good artist. It's so easy to fall into that trap. But let me ask you, does every artist that you know who's really good at the elements and principles of design, are they in galleries? Do they get into all the shows and are they in museums? So how do you get into museums? How do you get into galleries and have collectors who really want your work? Well, you do this. You develop your own personal artistic voice. That voice that is yours and only yours. This is how you stand out from all the other artists in the world. And we all know there's a gazillion of them. These are the paintings that are in galleries and museums. They are not mundane, but they represent that artist their style, because that painting, that artist has, has taken the time to find and develop their voice. Every artist looks for their artistic voice and it seems lost, but it's not lost. It's within you. It takes time to develop your voice and it takes asking some really deep questions like, what do you want to be known for? What do you want your paintings to say? And what are your personal and artistic values? And are they congruent with each other? Are your beliefs congruent with your painting style? Okay, an example would be an, a painter who is very vocal on the political scene, let's say. is Of course, they're, they're angry, they're protesting the political scene, and he or she, if he or she is painting calm landscapes and lovely flowers, they, that's not being congruent. So another thing is, why do you paint? Remember paintings with a clear sense of why give collectors and gallery owners a way to tell the outside world who you are and what you believe. Developing that certain look and feeling, well, it's essential. You know what I mean. You go to an art show and you see a painting across the room and you immediately know there's Sally's painting. Why? Because of that certain look and feel. That is what you are after. And you, you are the expert in this look and feel. This is what you want. So let me ask you, do you really want to keep thinking that just knowing the elements and principles of design will really well will make you a really good artist that gets into shows, galleries, and museums? Or would you prefer to become the expert of your style of painting? Develop your own personal artistic voice, a voice that's yours and only yours, that people immediately recognize and will draw you to collectors that are eagerly awaiting your next creation. So, are the elements and principles of design important? Yes, but that's the superficial part of painting. The voice says you. Now, for those that are interested in going deeper in this subject, be on the lookout because I will be announcing something very soon, very exciting. You're going to want to know about it. But until then, create brilliantly. Yeah.